Hi everyone, welcome to this video. This is one of my old type videos um, where I messed about with um, various bits and pieces and just sort of went along with it and found out um, how things worked. Now, <coughs> I've got a project and uh, for this project I needed an LED. Um, three LEDs would have been even better, which is why I've got this, um, this um, RGB LED here. And with LEDs you need a resistor. And the reason why you need a resistor is because if you were to connect the LED, the, uh, the anode to a power source and the cathode to the ground, it would simply draw all the current it could and it would burn itself out. That's bad news because obviously you want to keep your LED. And also, if you're working with a microcontroller such as the Pro Mini, which is what I'm going to be doing, it could draw current from the Pro Mini uh, if you were to use one of those um, output pins. And it could also burn the, the Arduino out at the same time. So it's really important to use a resistor. And the resistor basically resists, uh, which reduces the amount of current that can flow through the LED. And therefore you get your, your LED glowing without burning anything out. So then I thought, well, <coughs> what's to determine which resistor I should use? And basically what, what the answer is, is that you want a resistor that lets the LED glow, but doesn't let it draw too much current and um, I don't know the ratings I mean for the Pro Mini I think it's 40 milliamps per pin for the LED I, I really don't know it depends on the LED but as a rule of thumb I would say 20 milliamps um, now there is a there is a level where it reduces efficiency like over a certain amount it doesn't necessarily get brighter um, you know depending on the voltage. So you can increase the voltage, it won't necessarily get brighter. It kind of gets a bit warm and it starts burning out and blah, blah, blah. And, uh, and the same the other way around. You can actually put a bigger resistor on and it barely glows, but it, it takes um, a very small amount of electricity. Um, I actually think it works logarithmically and exponentially, you know? But anyway, more on that another time. So what I want to do is um, <clears throat> I want to put this ammeter on it and just fiddle around with some resistors and see how it reacts. So I'm going to put this on here. I'm going to set this to, I don't know, 20 milliamps. Set this ammeter up. I've got my power supply set to 5 volts with no limitations whatsoever. Right, and I'm not going to put that on there. I've got a 10, um, 10 ohm resistor and I'm just going to put this on and see what it does. Right, so, I don't know if you can see that, you probably can't, maybe I should turn this off. If I turn that off, will it work? Yeah, you can see that it's uh, glowing blue, and it's drawing um, 0 0.2, yeah, look, 0 0.2 milliamps. So... It's drawing 245 microamps, which is ridiculous. So it's basically nothing, yeah? It's drawing nothing, really. 246 microamps, actually. My oh, no. Yeah, microamps. That means micro. It's you. Microamps. Yeah, because there's milliamps, look. No milliamps. So it's microamps. 240 microamps. That's ridiculous. But it's still glowing. Now I'll try the other colours. There's the green, again 250 microamps, and the red, 300 microamps. Oh no, yeah, 300 microamps. Let's put it on that mode just to be easier. So, <coughs> so you can see there that with a 10 kilo ohm resistor, the LED still glows, and that's on 5 volts as well. So, isn't that absolutely ridiculous? So, how many watts is that? Well, it's 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 nothing, you know, it's nothing. So, will it get brighter? <coughs> will it get brighter if I make this five? Um, uh, ohms, right? So I've got two two ten k's, two ten k's in parallel, which should mean it's five k. Yeah, now it's drawing 486 microamps, and this will be the same. Yeah, 
yeah, 500, and then the red one, 600 microamps. But it isn't really that much brighter, look. It isn't really, so it's double the, double the power for not really any extra brightness. Let's remove this again. So, remove the 10K. So now we're back to 10K again. Okay, yeah, so tiny bit brighter, I would say, the way it was. Yeah. So, so that's that, look. 230 microamps. Now, what if I was to push it even further? <coughs> so instead of using a 10K, what else have we got here? Mm, we've got a 6.8k, so that's obviously obviously it's good. Well, you would have thought it would be brighter now. So we've got a 6.8k. So this is just over half of the resistance. So this is going to be brighter, but it should draw more as well. Yeah, drawing a little bit more. I wouldn't. I don't think that's. Yeah, that's brighter. Yeah, but it's marginal. So, let's go the other way around, and I'm going to get a bigger resistance. What have we got here? We've got, what's this one? 33K. So, this is three times the previous resistance. Yeah, so that's quite dim now, but wow, look at that. 75 microamps, and it's still going. There's the green, still glowing. Ah, the red, oh, that's because of the contact, hang on. Yeah, look, it's still glowing. Green is perfect, red and blue. So they are glowing, so this is this is madness. Five volts with a 33K um, resistor. It's drawing 76 microamps, microamps, and it's still working. So, yeah, I'm surprised. I'm surprised at how little these LEDs can actually glow on. So what if we were to go further? So that's, uh, <coughs> that was 33K, wasn't it? 33K, what else have we got here? We've got something even bigger. What are these? 20K, no. I want something even bigger. Um, 100k, 100k, so it's probably not going <coughs> to, I can't see it glowing now, surely not, 100k, it is, it is glowing, it's actually not that dim, wow, it's not dim, 27 microamps, yeah, the red, you know, the red's struggling, but it is glowing, it's quite pathetic though, and in fact, if I turn the light on, could I see it? Uh, mm, no. Well, I can, but it's pathetic. 24 microamps, but it just shows that it still works. So, so I'm thinking that for the purpose of saving energy, which, to be fair, I'm not really worried about on this particular project, but it just goes to show... I think I'm going to use a 50k, so this is 51k. So it's going to be brighter than the 100k and consume probably a little bit more. So let's try it now. Yeah, blue is good. Green's very good. Uh, red is okay, you know. I think probably red needs its own resistor. Uh, a bit less resistance, but it is glowing. So, and it's glowing reasonable enough. So there we go. 46 microamps, 53 microamps, and 63 microamps. That's crazy. You know, that is crazy. So it's zero watts. Yeah, so... <clears throat> so what was this again? This was 51K. So a 51K resistor... We'll, we'll make sure that if you were to use your Arduino, it would draw zero watts. 
zero amps. And what was it again? 40, I think it was 40 micro amps, which is insane. Well, you learn something new every day. Thanks for watching. Bye.